Here in Miami, tomorrow morning will be your last chance to sign a condolence book at the British Consulate. The network's Alexa Velez spoke to those who were sending their love across the Atlantic. The death of Queen Elizabeth II hasn't only affected those in the UK. Many people right here in South Florida are paying their respects. Behind me, there are mourners signing a condolence book that will be eventually sent back to Buckingham Palace. People are lining up in the lobby of the British consulate located at 1001 Brickle Bay Drive. Set up at the entrance is a condolence book, allowing South Floridians a chance to grieve and pay tribute to the late queen. They can do so by signing their names and leave messages to wish the royal family well and express what Queen Elizabeth meant to them. The least we can do is, um, is come and sign the condolences book as even though she was not my queen, but in the sense, I think she was the queen of the world because everybody knew her. She had a quality that I think is, 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 is rare and, and to admire, mm -hmm. which is balance and courage. It's been amazing to see so many people, young, old, <laughs> British, American, uh, Latin American, from across the world actually, all of whom the queen has obviously meant something slightly different to them so it's been wonderful quite humbling to see so many people turn up yeah I've been uh, following her life and it's just nice to see actually people who really care and can show respect to her I'm paying my condolences to you know Queen Elizabeth II uh, I think it's something that's been heard all around the world. It was expected, you know, obviously because of her age, but I didn't think it would have such a big impact. You know, it, she has had a big impact in the world. The condolence book will be available from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. until this Friday. And if you didn't get a chance to come by, you could always sign it virtually at www.royal.uk. I'm Alexa Velez reporting for the South Florida Media Network.